They're kind of wearing the same shirt. They literally are wearing the same outfit right now. Oh my gosh. Hi everyone, it's Blossom and welcome back to my channel. So today is a very exciting episode of the Colors of Life Challenge because we are starting the purple generation. It is finally time to start Sydney's generation, guys. I am so excited for this. I've been doing a lot of prep work and I am officially ready to start. And this literally is perfect because guess whose birthday it is? And I didn't even speed this up. It's her birthday today. So it is the perfect timing to just start on her generation. We've got a few other things to do. Oh, it is summertime also. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have Carly and Noah retire um, since they are elders now. And, you know, they kind of just want to live their life. And I was doing a bit of thinking, you know, whether I want, you know, Noah and Carly to stay in the generation until they die, which I... I do want that because I want especially Carly's grave. So I'm still like debating on whether they should move with Sydney. You know, just for the time being, they don't have like a lot of time left, but they do have time left. They did just age up like yesterday or whatever. Um, but this girl, we're gonna still live here for a little bit just um, because she needs to um, get a relationship up with a certain rich man who I did place in the world already. Um, if you guys didn't see the last episode, I believe it was either the last one or the one before that where I went over in depth on what is in store for this girl, um, which I guess I'll go over a few of them again since this is technically the first part of the purple gen, you know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, so here is what we've got going on. She needs to become enemies with an absent parent, which we have already done that. She is um, enemies with Bryce. She needs to marry and move in with the rich sim, which I can't wait to introduce you guys to him. And we need to become enemies with the spouse and then later divorce slash kick them out. Uh, reach level 10 of charisma. Form and maintain five good friendships with wealthy sims. Have one baby and maintain a distant relationship. Have an ongoing affair and then complete the fortune aspiration uh mansion baron which that's optional so basically we've got a little bit of a snob on our hands if you will <laughs> sydney is a little crazy but i'm so excited for this generation so let's go ahead and have both of them retire which i can't figure oh here it is i was like i could not figure out where it is <laughs> And then, yes, we are sure we want Carly to retire. And then we're gonna, okay, Noah's going to work like right now, so I'm gonna let him do that. This is last day of work. Um, and then we'll let him retire. Carly retired as an interstellar smuggler. She'll receive pension check every day based on her salary. So yeah, now she does not have a job, um, but you know, of course we did finish everything. Um, all that stuff yesterday. Um, girl, why are your clothes everywhere? Um, she's doing some working out, um, and that's all that's going on right now. We'll probably wait until he gets home to age up Sydney. Yeah, he only works until noon, so that's not bad at all. Um, and then we'll age up our girl, beautiful Sydney. I'm so excited. All right, so Carly is currently making some food, and then in a few seconds, she's gonna make a cake for Sydney. Sydney's in the shower. She's just so sad. Bullied! Oh my god, my voice just completely left the building. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Um, okay. What? Uh, she became a victim of bullying. The principal has put in a lot of effort to prevent the issue. However, it's out of their control Control when students leave the campus. I'm so sorry, Sydney. Oh, I feel so bad. Let's have her call the sadness hotline. Maybe that'll help because I don't want her to be sad on her birthday, you know? Like, I don't want her to cry or anything. <laughs> I'm so sad. So she has 10 hours of this. Maybe we should just do a bunch of sadness hotline. Oh, she's not sad anymore. Oh, oh my god, he was promoted. Okay, well, that's good. So that way he can get some more pension. So... 
Let's go ahead and have him retire. Oh my god, he's so cute, he's a little old man. Oh my gosh. Um, don't be asked advice. How is it coming? Okay, she made pancakes. Good. So then she's going to make the cake really quickly. Yes, I'm sure I want him to retire. Um, also, I'm going to give Sydney a little... I mean, Carly, sorry. Um, a little makeover once we age her up. Because I'm going to give her probably a little makeover as well. I'm not really sure yet. I might change up a few of her outfits. But I'm also going to give Carly a little bit... Of a change. I'll probably change her hair up because she's had this hair, oh my goodness, forever. Um, so we're definitely, oh wow, <laughs> just fell out of the responsible trait. Can I like get her to do her homework? Will that like bring it up? Oh yeah, go do some extra credit work or something. <laughs> just so she can get it like back in the range or something like that. Just so we can have her be responsible, I guess. All right, so Aiden just pulled up to the crib. We're gonna go ahead and invite him in, and we're also gonna invite over Isla, since I guess we'll invite everyone over for this birthday party, I guess. I guess we'll turn it into a little, not a actual party, um, just because I don't feel like planning a social event right now. But we'll go ahead and just let them hang around. Um, whoa, that was very loud. Go ahead and enthuse about cakes or something. She's still getting her extra credit work done, but Isla is here. Oh my goodness. Isla! Ooh, go to a secret handshake with her. Um, I guess we're not having her do her extra credit work. It's too much work. It's too much work. Um, why did that cancel out? Hello? Um, go ahead. Where's Hug? Let's do a beautiful little sister hug. They're kind of wearing the same shirt. They literally are wearing the same outfit right now. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go ahead and make a wish. Sydney, let's go. It's your birthday. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, stop talking to Isla. Hurry up. Why does it take them so long to stop doing something? All right, let's go, everyone. Ev Why are you being evil to your son right now? Everyone, come around. Oh my god, I'm missing it. Oh my gosh, I'm missing it. Oh my gosh, it's so stressful. Our baby, she's gonna be an adult. I cannot believe that. I cannot. Oh my god, she looks so cute right now. The, <laughs> the spatulas are in the way. I don't know how to take a picture. Oh my gosh, she's such a cutie. Like, am I right? Oh, she's got her wish. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't know what her last trait is. Let me go look. Okay, her last trait is hot-headed. She has got some interesting traits. Wow, my girl. I mean, just absolutely, absolutely interesting. Indeed. Okay, so now that we have got everyone aged up, stuff like that, we can go ahead and head into create a sim. All right, guys, so I'm finally finished with the makeovers, and I decided to really kind of mature Sydney's style because, you know, she wants to live that rich girl lifestyle, and her style, I just said style many times, I'm sorry, um, before was very, you know, teenager-ish, which is understandable. She was a teenager, but now that she's a young adult, I, of course, gave her a few cute new looks. I really like how she turned out. She looks so, so good. Let me know if you guys like her makeover. I didn't change her hair because I felt like it was fine the way it is. Um, and then, like, look at her. She is stunning. Um, and I kept a few of the outfits the same. I changed this look. I mean, she's so dramatic and extra. I love that about her. Um, I changed her hot weather outfit and her cold weather outfits. And that's Sydney's makeover, but I also gave Carly a makeover. This is her cold weather. I mean, look how beautiful Carly is. Like, look at her hair. Oh, like imagine looking this good. Like, imagine. Cause she's just so pretty. I'm gonna cry. Here's her some of her new outfits. Um, I kept some of them the same and things like that, but it did change most of them. I mean, look at her. She's so cute.
Um, so those are the makeovers for our girls. So now we can go ahead and hop back into our game. Actually, wait. I always notice that Carly has the blue nail polish and I always forget to give it to Sydney. So I'm gonna give her purple nail polish. All right, we're back in the house and I am just gonna go ahead and take Sydney kind of out, like get her out of town. I'm mainly doing this so she can hopefully run into the guy which I guess I'll show you him now if I can find Del Sol Valley. Of course, she's gonna be living up here, but this is the guy she met. I really hope because I know, I don't think she can go to the house or should we try? I mean, like she's very forward. I don't know if this has the lot trait of the celebrity house. So I'm not sure if it'll let us go here, but we can at least try and if not, then that's awkward. Oh shoot guys, I actually think it's gonna let us knock on the door. Um, but this house has already been given a purple makeover vibe. So it's like ready for her to move in, if you know what I mean. I mean, I guess we can go ahead and show it. Like look at the kitchen. <laughs> it is ready for her to move in. Um, let's see if we can find him. Okay, he's up here. Oh my gosh, she's such a forward gal. Like she does not care at all. She's got really good charisma, so she's about to go get herself a man. She does not waste any time and we don't waste any time on this challenge either. Can I change this light color? No, I can't. All right, so let's go ahead and meet him. His name is Julian Bernstein and he is a trust fund kid. He's rich as, very rich basically. Um, he's already got the purple shirt on. I'm telling you guys, this is been prepared. But let's go ahead and try to get to know his traits. And I don't even remember what his traits are, to be honest. But hopefully we can learn all of them. He's romantic. I tried to make it realistic as possible, you know, um, with his traits and stuff like that. He's an insider. Yeah, that's what I, I wanted to like make like a rich kid group on here but i don't know i don't know he's materialistic we'll ask him about his career even though i already know he doesn't have one because like i said he's a trust fund kid so he doesn't have a job <laughs> um he doesn't need a job i should say um but yeah so let's just try to get like um a relationship up with them yes he's unemployed i don't think i'll start a romantic relationship yet this is just kind of friendly at first she's not like that crazy to just like go in a house and you know whip out the flirts like she's just being a friendly neighbor even though she doesn't really live in this neighborhood but he doesn't need to know that right he doesn't know that. I just at least want them to be like good friends or something at first. Okay, love it when that happens. Everything just comes out. Where are you going? Where you think you're going, Julian? He just glitched so bad. He just did a little two-step. He just did a little two-step. Let's share some photos with him and um yeah <laughs> look at his shoes oh my god she just walked all in him oh my god we've relocated to the kitchen and sydney is a very tired but let's check their relationship so they are friends okay that's pretty good i'm gonna let her do these interactions and then we'll head back home for the day it is getting pretty late at night anyway she doesn't want to overstay her welcome even though she probably doesn't care but <laughs> We're going to keep Hussein a little bit. I still want her to be, like, likable for you guys. Oh, you look at her charisma. Yes, queen. Like, I don't want you guys to hate her. Because Carly was so easy to love. But Sydney's a little more interesting. And just, you know, she's got a lot of spunk, I guess you could say. Oh, my God. Look at her walking. She hates her life right now. She's so tired. Bro, when is this going to stop? I feel so bad for her. She's still going. She's still going. This is why we need cars. Look at her. This poor girl. She's gonna pass out. Oh my gosh. She's still going. What the heck? Oh, thank gosh. Oh my, that was... She's gonna pass out when she gets home, for sure. All right, guys, it's the next morning and our girl's awake after, you know, having a long night last night. Um, so she's gonna eat some food and it's kind of weird because like she is not supposed to have a job So like she can't we can't like Send her off to work every day if you know what I mean like we just kind of have to You know just chillax with her. She's so embarrassed. Why are you embarrassed? My old breakout girl. I took out the acne system. You won't you don't have any acne <laughs> What 
I'm so confused. Um, anyway, she didn't even finish her pancakes. I don't understand what's going on right now. But, um, I think we'll probably maybe, like, invite Julian over today so we can probably do more friendship stuff with him. She's crying in the shower. Sis, it is okay. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. Look how pretty she is. Oh my goodness, why are my sims, especially my heirs, so pretty? Look at them just sitting on the bed chatting. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Just go make out or something. Like, just do it. Oh god. Oh lord. Oh, okay, let's give them some privacy then. Let's give them some privacy. I want her to, like, hang out with him today, but she's not really feeling her best, you know? Like, she's so embarrassed. Oh, now she's happy. Okay, uh, cool, cool, cool. I guess we'll go ahead and invite him over. I heard you came friends with Julian for- Yes, oh, Isla is not wearing a shirt. <laughs> Oopsies, Isla, where are your clothes? Literally, where are they? Um... But hopefully we can like max out a good friendship with him and then maybe we'll throw in a couple flirts with Julian. That way we can just, you know, get this party started, speed up this challenge because I don't want to like waste time um, because there's no fun in that. We got to keep this challenge spicy, you know? Oh, that was so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm going to start to love them and then like... We all know how that ends. I read out the challenge rules, so... Yikes. We're gonna ask if he's single. Let's just make sure. Um, really quickly, he should be... Who's calling? Who died? Oh, <gasps> Brianna? Oh my gosh. No! That was her first friend. Oh god, she's bald. Oh, I'm so sorry, Brianna. Oh, that's sad. Ooh, oh my gosh. Let's get a big rip for Brianna. If you guys remember Brianna from the beginning of the challenge, you are a real one and you deserve a present. Um, but rest in peace. We will miss you, Brianna. Honestly, she was a great friend. Did someone else die? Oh no! Joe! Oh my goodness gracious, all of her friends are dying. Joe! Oh god, please don't die, Kyle. Oh no, Kyle's next, guys. Oh, oh my god, that girl's so cute. Who are you? Was this one of- that was probably one of the girls- Oh, that's, um, Emma's daughter. Aww, she's so cute. I love her. Anyway, <laughs> let's just get back to this. Um, did it say he was single? I think it did. Let's go ahead and flirt with him a little bit. Our mail has been delivered. Let's compliment his appearance. Oh, our bills are here. I guess we'll go ahead and send- Someone to go pay them. Is he gonna like our flirt? Let's compliment his outfit because he looked good. Oh, he, no, he's just gonna walk right through that and <laughs> pretend he doesn't see anything. Oh my goodness. Oh, I think he likes it. Oh, they just became good friends. That is perfect. That is really great. Oh, thank God he didn't stop to talk. <laughs> I hate it when they do that. Like, leave the conversation. R uh, let's exchange numbers. <laughs> we are not going to hook up with him. Not yet, at least. <laughs> not yet, sweetie. Um, but let's go ahead and, you know, just... Should we embrace? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Oh. Okay, he's pretty happy right now. He's pretty- he's feeling us. Wait, I want to embrace. I need a thumbnail. <laughs> like, come on, man. You know how this works. Okay, where are they going to be standing? Okay. This is how we take thumbnails, guys. You already know. Actually, should I get it from her angle? <laughs> this is like an insight on how I take thumbnails. Oh. How should I take this? See, this is when it gets complicated. <laughs> this is when it gets complicated. Yeah. Oh man, I should really have them kiss. <laughs> Just for the thumbnail. Just for the thumbnail. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, I think we got a successful thumbnail for these two. Um, so let's just try to get their relationship up some more. Um, also like just um, friendship and romantic, you know, a little bit of both. 
Oh, let's ask about his income, because I'm sure she wants to know that. I am positive. But he also doesn't have a job, so I don't really know how the game is going to interpret this. Let's ask his personality type. Let's see what he says. It says, I have a lot of money. That is so funny. He is ESTJ. Uh, I love to manage things or people, enjoy repairing things, gardening. I am affectionate and believe that I should devote myself to my partner. Oh. Okay, mister. Okay. Let's ask about his love life. Why he keep leaving us? What the heck? Oh my goodness. Let's confess our attraction to him. Because, like, why not? Like, why not? You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. Carly. Carly's just standing there. She's like, what's going on? She's so sad. I feel really bad for her. Oh. Goodness. She cannot help herself. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. I hope you guys enjoyed the first official part of the purple generation for the colors of life challenge. Um, I just really wanted to kick things off, go strong and hard. And yeah, tell me if you guys are liking the pace, if you like the fast pace or want me to like slow down. But I know with challenges like these, it can get kind of boring. Um, so I'm trying to keep up the momentum of the challenge and just kind of going quick 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 um <laughs> but don't worry once it's always like the beginning of the challenges it's a little weird like the beginning of generations i mean but if you guys are still enjoying it um don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys